Good day from Kamakura, Japan, on this Tuesday, May 3rd. It's 11 degrees and it's shaping up to be another beautiful day. We've got a uh, holiday studded week this week. It's called Golden Week. Today is Constitution Day. Wednesday will be Greenery Day. Thursday will be Children's Day. From about last Friday, into this coming weekend. It's Golden Week. Miss Monkey, shall we show them what we did the other day? You might remember that in here there was a strawberry plant, a lone strawberry plant. This was in this container that was down on the lower terrace. So I brought it up here to the upper terrace and moved the strawberry plant into here with these others. So this is the one that was transplanted. And it seems to be doing okay. And these two here were already here. And another one here, what is this? Uh, that's mint. That's, that'll go, hopefully this will recover. Yeah, see, we've got some mint in here. I'll get rid of that later. But yeah, this is uh, the new home for that uh, strawberry plant. It's doing okay. And I was thinking to put more cucumbers in here, the ones that are in the high indoor tower inside, I'll put them in here. And the ones up here are doing well. I think I'll leave these as is. That's enough. Four for one container like this should be enough. And I'm going to think of some way to uh, trellis these from here up to here. And hopefully I can train them to grow down through the uh, canopy here so that when I come out to harvest them, they'll be hanging down and I can just come and snip them. Yeah, I don't think the squirrels or birds would be too bold to come in here. And if they are, or if I fear that they are, I can put some more netting here to hang down and uh, yeah, to keep them at bay. Let's see our uh, Green beans are doing pretty good here. I like the looks of that. You see they're flowering here. And around the other side. We've got some nice flowering going on there. Yeah, how's everything down here? I see we have some flowering down here as well. So, yeah, that should be nice to see some green beans soon. In here, down there, it's coming along very nicely. Yeah, so I think this setup here will be very nice. I'll come up with some sort of netting for these uh, strawberries here. Okay, let's see, what else can we take a look at here? Let's take a look at the tower. Yeah, I was just reading a message from Emily, and uh, she was saying how when this tower was over by the, uh, by the window here last year, uh, it wasn't as productive, and that's true, so I'm hoping that out here it will be more productive. Yeah, But of course these st strawberries weren't in the tower then. The strawberries were in this container here, and they were sitting over here where the uh, potatoes are now. And of course the brick tower that's here was over there. Yeah, so I moved the brick tower to the center and uh, rearranged everything here. So, uh, you can see, uh, well let me open this up for you here and give you a better look at what's happening inside. Okay, yeah, see I can just pull that open very easily. Okay, yeah, you can see we have our strawberries forming nicely here. Yeah, see all these strawberries forming here? This is beautiful, absolutely wonderful. Another good bunch here and here. This is going to be wonderful this year. 
These here are starting to change color. Yeah, they're going to need a lot of water. And our English thyme is recovering nicely. Our parsley is coming in beautifully. Our chicory is doing well. Let's see, let's clean this up. Yeah, and harvest some chicory. Yeah, maybe it's time to give this a good turn, huh? Let's see what's happening on this side here. See, we have a damaged leaf here, so I'll just take that off. So we have some nice growth here. And let's turn this a little bit more. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Pretty good. Let's come around the other side and take a look. Yeah, it looks pretty good in here. I like this. Very nice. Here's Spunky with his uh, paper mulberry leaves that he likes to chew on. Okay, let's cover this up again. It's, well, it's fairly simple to cover this. And then I can simply put my simple string around like this and just give it a shoestring tie like that. And that's it. Then I'll tuck this underneath. Just tuck this up underneath like that. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I love you too. I love you too. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that should keep the bugs out. And I can still water right through the netting. I'll give this a little bit of a watering too. Not much, just a little bit. Yeah, just to get them through the morning. And the potatoes. And turmeric and asparagus. And my golden trumpet bush. And hydrangea. Okay. So, let's see what's happening over here. Yeah, here I want to cut back the stems of the tulips. I'll leave the leaves in until they start to yellow, then I'll cut them down to the base. And the mint, I'm going to leave that be for now. It's okay. As you can see, it's not encroaching on anything over here yet. <laughs> I'm lucky in that regard. So yeah, here I just want to cut them back down to the leaf level. Inside here there are actually seeds, but instead of putting the energy there, I want the energy to stay in the bulb for the next time they blossom. And it'd be interesting to see if they blossom later this year or next year. Here you can see I had some uh, oyster shells left over, and uh, yeah, I thought I'd put them around the edge here just to keep any creepy crawlers away. I think I mentioned before, these are the scapes that the onions are forming. I'm just going to break these off, Let's see if I can get in here, because um, again, I, I don't want the energy going into the scape. I want the energy going into the possible new onions. Now these are the onions that have started to sprout in the kitchen. Yeah, these are edible. So I'll have these with something, either today or tomorrow. Yeah, so hopefully I'll have some new onions coming in. Okay, 
I'll just place them here for now. Alrighty, let's take a look and see what's happening over here. come in here and take a good look, do a bit of weeding, get rid of some, some dead leaves. Okay, what do we have here? I see a bunch of females coming in here to join the males. Okay, this female flower will open shortly, in a couple days. Okay, you can see here this one's coming along nicely. That was the first, but now this one was the second, and it's even bigger. Okay, all the males over here, and more males. Hopefully some females will come in soon, like here. Yeah, this is a female here. Now, down in here you can see, these are all females. See, they're sitting atop a fruit, a very small fruit. So that indicates that they're female. This one here, a little hard to tell yet, but uh, see a lot of males, maybe some females there. What I'm glad I don't see are snails. So I think the uh, eggshells are doing a good job, the netting as well. And I don't see too much damage to the leaves. There's a little hole there. But other than that, I don't see any damage to the leaves, and that indicates that uh, I don't have any caterpillars. Okay, so let's cover this up again. Okay, that looks good. And here we have the new tower. And a slumbering tiny canine. Yeah, here's the new tower. I'll show you inside. It's got a little bit of water left over. It rained. So let's go inside and take a look. Alrighty, so here's the Eggplant, looking very good. And I think I'm going to plant some today, larger ones. Some I'll give away. Yeah, I think the eggplant have done very well. So, let's go down and take a look at the lower garden. Well, before we do, let's see here, I can see our uh, sage is coming along nicely here. It's bolting. That's good. And our rosemary. Let me get out of the sun here. <laughs> yeah, our rosemary is looking very nice too. I'm going to deadhead these tulips as well. And see here when the uh, Tulips yellow like this. I'll come and snip it all the way down to ground level. Let's get rid of some of these other things here. There's another one here. And how's everything down here? And the blueberry patch. No, I don't think the birds can get in there. So the blueberries that are forming should be safe. Yeah, over here our butternut squash are looking pretty good. And again, I want to keep the bugs out. And today I think I'll redo this netting here. This is not sufficient. So yeah, I'll redo this today. Down below our tomatoes are looking very nice. Yeah, I can see the tomato plants are getting taller. Very good, very good. 
and I'm going to divide this net here so that I can create a pathway in between. They need more space for upward growth. And here is where I'm going to plant some of the eggplant. So I'll dig this up a bit and get those planted as well. First I'm going to remove the netting. So let's take a closer look at what we have here. I think I'll bring the hoe in, or, well, I don't want to damage anything, so maybe I'll do this by hand. First I'll clip off some of these yellowed leaves. Yeah, this is not yellow, that's just the sun. Okay, and this side, yeah, this can go. I'll leave a foot on there. And that can go. Will you look at this? <laughs> I just noticed. We have a pumpkin already. Look at this. <laughs> My first pumpkin. Beautiful. Yeah. See, I'm glad it was hanging on this thing here. That's what I was hoping for. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take one from over here and put it on this side just to have two. Okay, and that will help with the netting as well. So you can see we have a a lot of good growth down in here and over here as well and this is looking very nice so our first pumpkin very good ah <laughs> I like that okay now see this plant here I don't want that going over the edge so I'll coax it back this way okay first off I want to cut this in half Okay, so this is fairly easy to cut through. I highly recommend, especially in the springtime, that you start out with netting to prevent the insects from eating your plants and uh, laying their eggs on them and burrowing into the, the vines. We'll start over here. Uh, I wish I had a slight breeze to help me. That's good enough for now. Okay, just get it in place. Now this one, I may not need all of this, but I'm not going to cut it. Oh, wait a minute, I just thought of something. Hmm. I wonder if I could use this over by the tower. Let's go take a look. Now what if I could use that over here? That would be nice. Yeah, yeah, this one here might work better over here. So let's see, what, we, what do we have here? This way. Okay. Yeah, that might be better. And I'll put some finishing touches on that. Okay, now that I have these uh, pins in here, no need for the logs out this side. Got one here as well, all the way around. So that gives me a nice space to walk through. And I can expand this as need be. And uh, yeah, we'll see how many pumpkins we get. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that pumpkin that we saw here has been fertilized. I may create some sort of a trellis system for the butternut squash, or uh, they could stay right here on the ground. We'll see. Okay, next I'm going to dig and plant some eggplant right here. Okay, let's take some of the eggplant down to the lower terrace. 
going to take the larger ones for now. We have eight of them. Okay, let's take these down. I'm going to give them a bit of a spray before I take them down. Should make it easier to get them out of the containers. Okay, so from here, I'm going to get some digging done here. So let me get a pitchfork to help loosen the soil and, uh, yeah, and a spade. Yeah, that's quite root bound. Down she goes. Good. Trying to keep them about a foot apart. Yeah, so I'm thinking it's better to go ahead and stake them now before the roots get developed. And I think uh, yeah, they could get about this high. So. What I'm going to do is uh, lean them inward. Okay, so I have all of these zip ties connected. And I've moved the brick to the outer edge so that I don't step on the eggplant. Now, I will admit that it is a tight squeeze getting through here, but uh, this is the best way to use a tight space. And this is a very, very tight space. So, of course, I'll be doing some finishing touches on everything. I've sort of hilled it up here so that uh, the uh, roots can have a nice head start. And now I want to water both the eggplant and the tomatoes. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's start over here and give the pumpkin a good watering. And the butternut squash. Okay, we'll give the newly planted eggplant and the tomatoes a good drink. Okay, Sparky, let's go outside. Go. Okay, ready? Okay. To come outside in, in the afternoon, well, it's just before noon, and take a look at things. This is our eggplant here, looking pretty good. And everything over here looks pretty good. Our garlic is doing well. We've got roses. Roses in bloom. Very nice. The first blossoms of the year. Beautiful. Very good, very good. Okay, I wanted to come down and see the lower garden. Let's take a good look at what I did earlier. Yeah, I redid the netting here. I didn't want to waste that string that I had wrapped around the lower portion and uh, just created this little support system here. And uh, yeah, I think that'll keep the bugs out for the most part. And over here, got eight eggplant planted down here. And over here, our pumpkins are looking pretty good. 
as they grow, I'll open this up more. And over here, the butternut squash. Everything is tied down nice and neatly. So yeah, this looks pretty good, I'd say. Yeah, I still have space to walk in between here. Yeah, I'm thinking that looks pretty good, pretty good. Okay, Spunky and I are going to head out for a walk. Right, Spunky? Yeah. You ready? Let's go. Good boy. Alrighty, let's go for a walk, shall we?